Hey there, I'm Heather, also known as Cater the Violent Fairy, and I am on the Poorly Drawn Bikes team. I took care of the water crossing, and I'd like to tell you a little bit more about my kinetic contraption. So here it is. I'm not very good at the Vanna White thing, it just looked creepy. Sorry, um, but yes, here it is. Uh, it's, as you can see, hopefully, uh, it's based off of a rocket, specifically the Saturn V rocket. Um, and the Saturn V rocket was the one used in the Apollo missions, so I thought it would be a nice throwback to that. Unfortunately, if you're familiar with the Saturn V rockets doesn't totally look like one, uh, but I think I had a pretty clever solution to that problem. And that was to, instead of saying that it's based on the Saturn V rocket, to just start saying that it's inspired by it. So anyway, now that we've established where my inspiration came from, I want to tell you a little bit more about how it works. So if you look closely, the vehicle is built entirely of uh, fuse beads, um, which I have had for who knows how long, and quarantine seemed like a great opportunity to drag them out. Um, and so that is how I built the body of my contraption. For flotation, I used some quartz and some uh, foam sheets, which you can see here. The perler beads also uh, float on their own, especially because they kind of trap um, like air bubbles. However, once you add any weight to it, like an egg, it no longer floats. So, had to add a little extra flotation on the bottom. You can see I did also add some wheels. I think these might actually be like the gears for a like spire graph kit, but right now they're wheels. Uh, and I attached those using some pins and there's some perler beads underneath in order to space them out so that they can roll very easily. Um, and that was to help the vehicle get in and out of the water, because it does have to be amphibious. You might be wondering where the egg goes. Here is the cockpit. And I did, after the first water test, have to add a seat belt here. It turns out that seat belts are very important for launching uh, rockets, and yes, so seatbelt was added, and that worked very well for securing the egg safely. It was a very important mission. Can't have eggs falling out of a rocket. Uh, now as for propulsion, uh, the Saturn V rockets had three stages. Um, since the journey from a pizza tray planet to a splatter guard planet in my bathtub is just a little shorter than a trip to the moon. Uh, I only have two stages. Uh, the first stage was powered by a uh, counterweight. And so the front of the rocket is attached um, to one end of the string and two bags of marbles were attached to the other side. And so when I released it, those marbles fell and were able to drag my rocket into the water uh, and out of the water. But in order to help propel it through the water, I did add a second stage, and that is this propeller right here. 
And this one is powered by a rubber band. So you just have to fuel the rocket up a little bit for launch. And as soon as it hits the water, it starts propelling the rocket through. So that is how my kinetic contraption works. It did successfully uh, transport an egg on an interplanetary mission across my bathtub. <laughs>